Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. Today, we're continuing our series on Belmont's small businesses. Belmont Journal volunteer Cherise Zerunian brings us to Rankatory's Ice Cream and Yogurt Shop on Leonard Street. Here's her story. So hi, I'm Joe Rankatory, uh, owner, operator of Rankatory's Ice Cream here in Belmont Center. I've been open in Belmont since 1985. Uh, since 2010, I've been in Belmont Center. Uh, have opened up two other stores in the uh, Lexington Center and in Newtonville. I think it goes back to, to family. Uh, so my dad worked at Macy's out of New York City. Um, Dad infused in both Gus, my older brother and I, this idea of owning your own business, that it's empowering to own your own business. Never work for a Macy's, never work for someone else. He always had this as a, a little background noise in Gus in our heads. Um, in 1981, Gus opened uh, Toscanini's Ice Cream in Cambridge over in Central Square. I came up to visit in September of uh, 81, literally weeks after he had opened the store. And I remember when I left, I told him he had a little McDonald's. I just thought it was such an exciting little place. He was doing maybe $300 a day, and it was just so exciting. So I sent him a snail mail letter back in the day. That's a letter in an envelope with a stamp on it. And I just said, if he ever wants a year of my life, I'd be happy to give it to him. And he wrote back going, come on up. And uh, so I contacted him, and in December of 81, I moved up here to help Gus with the ice cream store. And I remember my, I, I was working at an hourly wage, God, I can't even remember what it was, a buck 85 maybe. And uh, there was one week I worked like 86 hours, and he, he said, ha, congratulations, you're a salaried employee. And thus started this adventure of working at Toscanini's for four years, and it was mind-blowing. The first year, first full year, we were very, very busy. We were very recognized by a lot of uh, institutions, Boston Globe, uh, Real Paper, all these other odd papers around town. And uh, we just had a great time. And uh, by 1985, uh, Gus did not want to open a, a second store. And I, I thought it was just a great idea, too. So I ended up looking in uh, Belmont Waltham, largely, to open a store of my own. And uh, come, uh, come November of 85, I opened up Rankatory's Ice Cream over on Belmont Street and uh, largely did it with uh, investors, uh, some savings I had, and a bank loan. And after, I would say, 88, it started getting more recognition. Things started getting busier. And I, I always believed in the store, but it was starting to do sales and uh, roll through. And, and, and that was really, I was 27 years old. I was 31 years old, 27 when I moved to Boston, 31 when I opened the store. And I didn't even realize I'd started a career. And, uh, but I did and uh, rolled on and uh, opened my second store in 2004. And it changed everything. It became a business. And so in 2004, I was uh, 50 years old. And I'd opened my second store. And I loved it. And uh, I chose to make all the ice cream. Uh, that was what I, my profession was. And so I was doing all the ice cream, all the deliveries. And uh, bought a truck, blah, blah, blah. And we just kept rolling along. And, and come 2014, I opened a third store at 60 years old. And it's just been just so much fun. I would say learn from my father, customer service, and a lot from my brother Gus. Gus used to bend over backwards to deliver a pint of ice cream at midnight, uh, to do all sorts of odd things to please the customer. And I, I just, you know, like, what's the problem? A customer would walk in at, into the store at 1130, all the lights are out, and he wants a quart of vanilla. And you're just almost like, dude, it's, it's 1130. We're like, we're closed. But no, no. Take your jacket off, wash your hands, get the, get the guy a quart, and he walks out. And I just think that a touch like that would spread to five other customers. I think that's a strength of our stores. We always love the customer. It's always been a thing. We do a wide array of flavors. Uh, we listen to a lot of our customers. We've moved into vegan ice creams now, sorbets, all from scratch. We just go the extra mile to bring great customer service. I just want to say I still love what I do. It's just so much fun, so rewarding.